okay okay welcome back to the sessions um, <clears throat> my previous session i have uh, um i have explained you like you know how to uh, prepare the uh, restful web, web services uh, spring restful application just to uh, insert the data insert the product data into the database itself uh, i have shown you okay so i think uh, you all practiced well so now uh, try to understand uh, but that is not straight away that is not my uh, requirement i whatever the spring boot application you have created uh, we need to like what prepare the docker image but to prepare the docker image we need to like what uh, we required the docker file itself we required the docker file itself so for this particular spring boot application we need to prepare the docker file how can we create the docker file try to understand let me right click on this okay let me right click on this on the project itself click on the new and uh, go to the file file name must be like this only t should be capital and remaining all are what smalls click on the finish naming convention must you have to like what follow so under project you have to like what right click under new and then you have to like what create this so here few instructions few commands okay you have to use uh these are very much helpful to like what to build the image for this particular spring boot restful web application which i prepared so what are the instructions for this entire application what is the base image open jdk so where exactly that open jdk image name is there docker hub okay docker hub you just check for that open jdk image because that is the base image or parent image for this spring boot application so click on open jdk if you click on this enter okay official image but you see deprecation notice this image is officially deprecated and all users are recommended to find and use suitable replacements as soon as possible some examples of other official image alternatives listed in alphabetical order with no intentional or implied preference so what they are saying open jdk previously people we, we were used but right now that was deprecated instead of that you can use any one of this okay now i wanted to like what eclipse tumorin okay this was this is the image i wanted to like what use just copy this and to prepare the docker file okay uh, from instruction you have to use and followed by this eclipse tumorin and followed by uh, any specific java version for example if i am using 717 that's fine it will work with the 17 itself and if you don't want to like what use a particular version you can give latest even though if you don't want to give anything that is also fine it will take the latest version only okay now i am just using specifically 17 itself and uh, after that since uh, uh, i want to like what configure the author information uh, meta information label maintainer who is the maintainer myself is the maintainer so that is the reason i am giving my email id uh, yes label maintainer equals to rk at the rate of vhasis.com and followed by working directory in the docker container what is the working directory so forward slash app is the default working directory in the um, default working directory in the what we call uh, default working directory in the uh, come on in the docker container itself but and followed by uh, but whatever the application you prepared uh, previously uh, uh, you did not create any uh, jar file okay you did not create any jar file for the spring boot application which you created but actually you supposed to like what copy the uh that particular jar file from uh, the working directory from the current working directory to uh, to the docker container working directory that is the process for that uh, you first you need to like what prepare the first you need to like what prepare the okay one second let me control x control s again i'll come back to here let me try to like what delete this okay let me try to delete this first uh, what you do is try to like what prepare the uh, uh, jar file itself how can you prepare the jar file for the spring boot application right click on this okay click on the run as click on the maven build with the three dots okay here give the clean package okay clean a package itself clean space package clean is to clean the existing okay dot class files and package it will create the package as a jar file itself where exactly the jar file will be created under target folder if you are observing here okay under target folder right now we don't have any uh, jar files okay when you click on the apply and then click on the run so that uh, the jar file is going to be created and that we can observe under target folder itself i will show you 
you just wait uh, uh, open the console uh, so that you can understand if any error comes uh, so that you can uh, try to like what uh, you know debug and then you can rectify that particular error if if the error comes otherwise it's 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 okay so if it is uh, everything is fine you got the message build success message so that you can understand okay jar file is going to be created results test run one okay build got success and you see building jar file okay where exactly the jar file is available please you just observe here under target folder under target folder with this name spring boot the underscore docker demo underscore one zero point zero point one snapshot dot jar with this name the jar file is going to be created and this jar file we supposed to like what copy from the local working directory to okay from the target uh, under target folder to uh, <coughs> docker container working directory that is of course default working directory of the docker container is forward slash app so come back to like what uh, one more time okay anyhow uh, the jar file is going to be created to see this try to like what right click on the project and then refresh so now if you are observing the target folder yes it is there it is there now come back to like what under project click on the new and uh, click on the file itself what is the file name you have to give as i said docker file as i said docker file itself what we have to give just now i told you na from uh, from what you have to give sir uh, instead of open jdk people are using what right now eclipse tamarin some other also there based on the requirement you can use okay this is the base image or parent image uh, for this particular application uh, 17 java version i gave after this uh, label maintainer equals to rk at the rate of any name you can give uh, since for this application i am the author i am the maintainer so that is the reason i used to give my email id okay working directory uh, for this uh, docker container is uh, forward slash app okay now we need to like what copy the we need to like what copy the come on please we need to like what copy this uh, uh, jar file spring boot underscore docker underscore demo underscore one okay hyphen 0 0.0.1 hyphen snapshot snapshot dot jar uh, this one so we are copying the jar file from the target folder of the working directory to okay where okay where lo, in the um, docker container this is the working directory so we need to pass the jar file to there with the, your own name with the customized name if you want so spring boot okay spring boot docker spring boot docker demo dot jar file itself so with this name otherwise if you previously i might work i might use this particular name spring boot docker demo 2 dot jar file with this name you can uh, copy this copy this existing jar file to like what with this name i am just copying where exactly to where in the docker container working directory that is of course app itself and after this you need to like what run this uh, jar file na? for this uh, to run the uh, jar file on one, one more instruction we have to like what use uh, that is entry point uh, followed by okay what is the command java come on please what is the command java hyphen jar okay java hyphen jar and now we have to like what pass the above name we gave na? what is the name you gave spring boot docker demo 2 dot jar spring boot docker demo 2 dot jar yes that's it so in this way we are able to like what uh, run the i mean we are able to like what prepare the docker file itself sir once you prepare the docker file yes we are able to like what uh, uh, build the docker image we are able to like what build the docker image itself we are able to like what build the docker image so but before you build the docker image try to like what uh, rebuild the rebuild the file itself so how to rebuild tell me run as but before rebuilding the docker image what we need to do is so because if you open the application dot properties so the url uh, the url of the existing application is mysql localhost 3306 sys but right now uh, but right now uh, the mysql because localhost won't work in the docker so you already uh, gave uh, whether you remember or not whether you remember or not one second you just uh, uh, open the command prompt open the command prompt docker images only one image is there only one image is there docker ps uh, only one container is there that is of course mysql db1 it got up 20 minutes back 
mysql db1 uh, is this one actually in my previous video this one is running right now uh, under the docker network uh, and mysql db1 is the container name i gave so uh, for that to to work in to 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 deploy the this particular image in the same docker network instead of local host you have to like what give that particular mysql db1 as the host name uh, because local host won't work okay in case of docker content that is the reason you have to change but uh, okay right now i am working with the docker uh, so that is why we are going to come here and then we can change like this how many times for example you may work in the production environment somebody is working in the development environment somebody is working in the testing environment like this how many times you are going to like what cross check uh, change like this it is not at all a correct process right that is the reason we are going to like what prepare the different uh, application or properties uh, based on the uh, stages based on the uh, environment which you want to use for this what you what i am doing let me copy this under src main resources paste it okay here i am going to like what give application hyphen docker dot properties this is the naming convention which you have to follow whatever you have right now just okay whatever uh, let me copy this let me copy this application hyphen docker dot properties okay so the same thing right so just try to like what uh, save this instead of uh, local host what you have to give tell me you already gave right mm, come on please you already gave Mm, the host name is what mysql db1 which is already in running there right just now i have shown and what was the database name yesterday you have given so that was student right that was student so root uh, root is the password and mining all are fine but whenever I, I i i reloaded i run this application okay by default uh, the class path is application dot properties but to instead of considering this application dot properties as the class path file I, if i want to like what consider this application iphone docker dot properties file as a class path file so you have to like what give this uh, this one spring dot profiles dot active equal to docker whenever you gave like this okay control goes to here control goes to here and then this will be running itself you already has as you already aware of you already gave the docker container name itself the host name itself so everything is fine now right so now after you made these changes now i mean i prepared one profile okay and i am making that profile as an active okay now instead of active instead of uh, considering this class path application or properties as a class path file it will take so if it will take that means what it is taking the docker container name itself it will uh, mysql db1 we gave student i gave so now uh, after you made these changes try to like what uh, prepare the uh, prepare the um, i mean latest uh, what we call jar file itself how can we do that run as maven build with uh, my god something i clicked on that one second one second uh, build got success build got success let me try to rerun rebuild one more time i am not sure run as maven build okay clean clean package click on the apply and then run i did not give the goal right previously just click on the build so now you better to like what give the clean package what do you mean by clean package it will clean the existing stuff and then existing dot class files and everything and then it will be created newly itself that is the purpose of what uh, giving the goal as what a clean followed by package so package means what sir with that name jar file is going to be created mm, yeah one second my god uh, we are getting some errors what are these errors one second communication link failure we are getting uh -huh. communication link failure okay that is anyhow we are running okay do one thing try to like what uh, um maven update the project sir click on the okay update the project because of uh, this one is also in running mode only 20 minutes back it was in running mode my sql db1 okay one second one second yes it got updated now one second maven build 
clean followed by package uh, if you want to skip the test that's not a problem check in that and then you just observe it yeah now we'll got success since whenever you make changes update the project and then do the update so now uh, once uh, and i mean to say like you know after you prepared the docker file after you created this particular profile for your docker changes this local host instead of that if you give your local uh, mysql db1 as the container name which is already in running uh, if you are making these changes so now prepare the jar file and be ready with the jar file now this is the time to like what create the docker image how we can create the docker image so where exactly the docker file is available in this particular project so now first you go to the project and open the command prompt so where exactly that is available in the e drive in the e drive cd learnings speedy spring boot uh, docker cd spring boot docker demo 1 cls here docker file is available mm. okay here docker file is available see here docker file is available or not available yeah wherever the docker file is available go to the directory and try to like what prepare the image because to prepare the uh, docker image for my spring boot application docker file is the input so that is the reason you should go to the directory where the docker file is available for your project and from there try to like what pass this command docker, docker build hyphen d spring boot okay restful web service any name you can give okay followed by the tag name 0.1 release if you want to give followed by dot dot means what current working directory current working directory in this current working directory only docker file is available hyphen t stands for what stag name what is the image name spring boot restful web service colon 0.1 release this dot is representing current working directory so that it will take the docker file as the input and accordingly this image is going to be prepared when i try to like what enter come on please when i try to like what prepare enter it is just building see here uh, load metadata for docker okay transferring context copying the jar file uh, copying the jar file from here to like what the uh, uh, working directory of uh, docker container exporting to image writing image and everything is fine and now you see uh, once it is done you just check docker images okay you see spring boot restful web service the image is in running mode the image is uh, create itself once uh, the docker image is uh, gets created now i wanted to like what show you to run this particular docker image how we can run this application i mean how we can run this particular docker image which you created it's very simple right so you know already docker run hmm, come on please hyphen network what is the network which we created to see that docker network ls so the yesterday we have created spring boot mysql network ha huh. in this network we try to like what run this particular docker image what is the command you have to use tell me docker run come on please docker run hyphen hyphen network uh, what is the network name spring boot mysql network uh, followed by come on followed by uh, name name of the container spring boot any name you can give spring boot mysql container any name you can give it is a user defined hyphen p okay 8080 followed by 8080 okay 80 first 8080 is representing the os the meaning of this 8080 colon 8080 is the second 8080 is the docker inside the docker this is running on 8080 that we are exposing uh, to the os by giving the 8080 as the port number if you want to like what give another port number that is also fine see 2023 colon 8080 is also fine last 8080 is the docker uh, docker port number that we are exposing to like what 2023 okay that is also fine but instead of getting the confusion usually i am giving like you know both are same but okay we'll keep like this only 2023 uh, colon 8080 hyphen d d stands for what detached mode uh, so then it will it will run in the background mode okay hyphen d and followed by what image name what is the image name huh, you know already spring boot restful web service what is the tag name colon 0 point release 0 0.1 point dot release uh, this one in this way we are able to like what uh, uh, run this particular image itself yes it got run yes it got run once it got run 
we are able to like what uh, once it got run we are able to like what see it got run right so now what we have to do once it got run what we have to do so we can we can cross check the we can cross check the scene we will try to like what connect the we will try to like what connect the database how can you connect the database docker uh, docker ps open and uh, this mysql db1 now what what i have to do is docker exec hyphen it um, mysql db1 and then followed by bash so it it will be entering into the like what bash itself so so your spring boot application image is also running by taking the mysql db1 as the uh, mysql db1 as the container i mean host name itself so after this mysql hyphen u uh, root hyphen p uh, enter password root mysql right show databases okay uh, select star from table sorry show databases show databases spelling mistake yeah student it got created use student okay select star from product any okay one camera 15000 already it was there okay because i i tried uh, previously so what i'll do is uh, i'll try to like what uh, insert one more uh, this one api product uh, see here it, it is not 8080 right now it is 2023 which you are trying to expose uh, api product create and here instead of camera laptop i am using okay post method and this is something like you know 75000 and when i try to like what send come on please product id to laptop 75000 got created and that we are cross checking in this particular docker itself uh, docker itself select star from product see the second row also got inserted itself or not sir where exactly you are checking and this is something like you know docker you are, you are checking from the docker image you are not checking in the uh, physical database itself okay physical database itself even if you are running here that is also getting inserted but the point is here where exactly we are checking you are you are sending the request and the data is going to be inserted and we are checking here itself so in this way we are able to like what uh, you know uh, run the docker image okay our spring boot application uh, to dockerize the spring boot application by using this particular uh, docker network itself i hope you all understood very simple first uh, first uh, prepare the spring boot application any spring boot application based on your requirement and after that prepare the docker file okay inside this docker file from label working directory you just copy the jar file from the target folder to like what uh, container uh, thing and followed by entry point uh, this is the command to run the jar file once it is done uh, prepare uh, the docker related properties file accordingly make uh, some changes based on your requirement here i am changing the uh, according to like what my docker mysql uh, running image eh? i changed this local host name followed by the database name and remaining things are also based on the requirement you can change to activate active this particular profile okay to active this particular profile in our actual application dot properties you have to like what give this particular instruction spring dot profiles dot active equals to docker so that it will be activated and accordingly it will be connected to like what existing docker running image and accordingly the data is also going to be inserted whenever you are sending any request itself so i hope uh, you all understood this uh, application how to dockerize the spring boot application uh, by using mysql database especially by using a docker network here two images are there one mysql image is running in the same docker network okay your spring boot application is also running in the same docker network so but still one docker one, one docker container can communicate with another docker container itself that is possible by using docker network itself because both the docker images are deploying in the same docker network that is why these two images these two images can communicate easily and accordingly the data also we are able to like what i mean we are able to perform the db operations itself so i hope you understood uh, this application please try to practice and if you are getting any kind of queries or any doubts please try to like what feel free to like what post your questions in the comment sections okay so thank you thank you all and one more thing is this is uh, with respect to docker network we have created all this stuff from uh, almost 3 videos onwards 
okay but uh, in the coming uh, session in the next lecture i am going to like what show you the same application but uh, without a docker network uh, by using docker compose how we can do that docker compose is very very easy we know it like what bother about docker network and everything everything will be created internally by the docker itself so docker compose is very very useful and that is uh, recommended to like what you know uh, docker as a spring boot application that i will show you in my next lecture itself but try to like what practice up to here so so that you can easily understand the way how exactly we can dockerize the application using docker compose also theek okay? hai thank you thank you all